I got my Halloween treat early this year from the fat movie guy in the form of a Halloween screener. Too bad the movie just sucked. <laughs> What's up everybody, I'm back today to talk about Gut from 2012. The fat movie guy contacted me, sent me a couple screeners uh, through the email to watch for this Halloween season. I'd like to thank him for that, go and check out his website. But let's get to Gut from 2012, I guess it's been making the circuits of all the film festivals and stuff like that. I watched it on VMO. I don't know if it's available for sale. Uh, hopefully not. Once I get into my review, you're not going to probably want to see it. First of all, the film is directed and written by a mysterious man named Elias, which I thought was pretty freaking funny when I looked up his picture on IMDb. And the film starts off where there's this 30-something-year-old guy, and he has a friend, and the one guy's married, and, you know, he's going through some angst, you know, of coming-of-age type crap like that. And his friend is, like, a single guy who's always been his best buddy. You can tell they have a love of horror movies and stuff like that. They work at the same office. And, you know, the, he notices his friend is going through some marital problems and stuff like that. He asks him to come watch this video. I haven't seen the trailer for this film, and I guess the trailer makes it look like like Videodrome. This movie is not like Videodrome. So they wind up watching basically this sort of like snuff film. I won't get into it too much. And they sort of start getting obsessed with it. That's the best way to put it. But not much happens at all. The first five minutes were pretty good. They start with a pretty good scene. And then from there is just a snooze fest. Nothing in this movie pops. Nothing major happens. But I watched it a second time just to see if I really missed anything. And I slightly liked it better the second time. There was a little more there. I mean, they were trying to do something. The same guy, Elias, you know, who wrote and directed this, was trying to do something with the story. He was trying to tell us something of, about friendship and, you know, probably that discovery that sometimes friends have of something strange. How that can lead to, like, a road of obsession and doing weird things like that. It just fell on deaf ears because the film was literally so freaking boring. The acting is, you know, mediocre. It's low budget, so it has a lot of the trappings of a low budget film. But it played itself so seriously, which is kind of fun. And it did work, actually, you know, some good lines of dialogue in. But like I said, nothing popped. It was just like watching vanilla ice cream the whole time. Boring as hell. I know some people like vanilla. Nothing leapt off the screen. I mean, that's the best way to put it overall. Just kind of dull. It could have been cut by probably 40 minutes. This should have been a short film. I think when you make a cinematic piece this long, it needs to not only have a core story, which this one did, but it has to have something more, you know, something cinematic, something theatrical. This was just like an idea that was fleshed out to an hour and a half, and it was just a ton of filler. You know, the gore is minimal. There's really none at all. Just kind of good beginning, a decent ending. The rest... Just a bunch of crap. The whole message lost on me. I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of 5. If you've seen Gut at a film festival or something like that, let me know what you thought down below. Um, if you get a chance to see it and not pay for it, I think you might want to watch it. Uh, but don't blame me for losing an hour, half of your time. Seriously. Um, this all started with the fat movie guy. So go visit his site and complain to him about it. Um, no, actually, he has a pretty cool site. And like I said, comment down below. I'll see you guys soon.